Good morning. Oh, here we go. The product that everybody's been like hyped about, and the product everybody's going crazy about. Magic the Gathering, Lord of the Rings, um, Tales of Middle Earth. Um, I'm only going to open one box of these things. They're not cheap, uh, but I have to take a chance at this one of one. Uh, that one of one would be life changing um, for me and for many others. I'm hoping that whoever whoever gets the one of one is uh, is someone that um, it will will change their life. Uh, I don't want to see one of these multi millionaire companies or big time famous people or something like that be the one that pulls it. No offense, just I I know that this card can uh, can change a life. Um, two million dollars is the bounty right now. Uh, it's it's insane to think that two million dollars is being offered up for a card. Um, but anyways, there's a chance at a one of one, the one ring, um, uh, two million dollar bounty from a company out in Spain. But the sky's the limit. Um, apparently there's already some people trying to fake it. There's some people, um, doing proxies and stuff like that, trying to, trying to fake the, fake the card already. So be careful. Um, hopefully whoever pulls it does, breaks it live and pulls it so that, you know, there's no doubt about the card. But anyways, I'm going to give these things a chance. Uh, I haven't opened magic in a while. I used to play magic a long time ago. 20 something years ago. Um, but I haven't really played Magic lately. Uh, I'm excited for the set. Regardless, it is collectible. I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. Um, uh, so we just added, uh, you probably don't see it very good. We just added, added the Eye of Sauron. We're not completely done with it, but just added Eye of Sauron right there on my elbow. Um, anyways, one of one chance here. Um, so I have to take a chance on these boxes. Again, like I said, for me, it would be life changing for a lot of people it would be life changing to pull a one of one uh, card that somebody is willing to give two million dollars for um, this set officially comes out Friday. Um, so I'm just going to open this box for myself. This is a personal one. I want to I have to take a chance um, like a lot of people, there's a lot of people that have reached out about this set. I know there's a lot of people busting this set that don't care about magic, that just want to have a chance at, uh, at pulling a card worth $2 million minimum. Um, but here we go. If you're not familiar with it, have you even looked, if you haven't looked into the set, there are other ch numbered, all the rings are numbered to some or limited to some to some degree um so there are going to be chance that there's still some big cards that you can pull i know there's some cards that were priced at a thousand dollars um obviously the prices will be all over the place at first um so this is your box topper pack um the party tree i believe there's like a a version of this where or, or this might be one of them but there's a version that makes like a puzzle um, I don't know if it's a bunch of different box toppers or if it's this card broken up into a bunch of other cards. But anyways, there is some cool, unique things they did with this set. Uh, so we'll sleeve up the box topper. It may not be worth anything, but we'll sleeve it up because it's a mythic. Um, so here we go. One of one chasing. Uh, chance at a million dollars. I said I was going to wait a few days to give other people a chance to open this stuff. And if the one of one got pulled, I wasn't going to waste my time. <laughs> but I couldn't help it. I'm anxious. Um, and these packs are tight. I might need scissors for this one. These packs are not going to open like sports cards and stuff. I don't want to destroy the one of one. But anyways. Uh... Common Mordor, the the only way to get the one of one is through these uh, through these collector boosters as well. Uh, rest of the room, then the uncommon. So you go common, then your your uncommons. Looks like all the cards are foil in the collector boosters this go around, which is nice. I love the lands. Got the map of uh, you know 
from Lord of the Rings, got the whole thing going on. There's a un, um, a rare. Okay, so I, there's my first non-foil, but it's a full art, like extended art, rare, rare, full extended as well. Um, an uncommon extended. There's a mythic Sauron, the Dark Lord. So that's my first mythic. Um, I can I can feel my heart beating. <laughs> like I I just know what a one of one like the, what this card would do for a lot of people. Um, anyways, I already told somebody if I end up pulling the uh, if I pulled the ring, the ring that everybody's chasing, I would probably just leave the doors unlocked and tell everybody everything in here is free. Um, I, I don't know yet. Um, I haven't got all my b boxes in. This was just one of my distributors. The, the this box is completely it's completely gone. Um, that's already been claimed. There is another shipment coming from a different distributor. Should be shipping either today or tomorrow. But I should have a couple a, a couple full collector boxes available um, at least. So I will. I'm only opening the one. Um, I'm not going to open a ton of this stuff. It's it's pretty expensive for a uh, for a box, so not going to be pulling, not going to be opening a um a bunch of them. But on all the Tatis, yeah, <laughs> that'd be interesting if I pulled a Tatis in one of these. Uh, let's see, Flame of Honor is a rare. Let's that was our our mythic so far. Again, like I said, all the rings, regardless of whether you get the one of one or a different version of the ring. They're all limited to some degree. Uh, I guess you don't get a mythic in every pack unless it's at the end here. And food. So yeah, it doesn't look like it's guaranteed mythic. Per I thought I thought the collector boosters had a mythic in every pack or maybe I missed a mythic in that one. Um, let me just flip through real fast. I didn't see a mythic unless I, like I said, unless I skipped it. Yeah, I didn't see a mythic in that pack. Um, Anyways, there's a lot of value in these. Again, the prices are going to be all over the place because the set doesn't officially come out. Um, oh, well, I got you. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Like I said, if if I pull the one of one and there's a chance at two million dollars, I'm out of here, guys. Sorry, but two million dollars, we might end up in Ireland or something like that, living out a dream. <laughs> But anyways, here we go. We got we still got a, quite a few packs. Still got a long ways to go. I've never been more nervous about opening something. Um, it's weird. Like I know the odds of pulling this card are insane, um, but it's still just the fact that I'm opening something that has a potential to have a multi-million dollar card in it. it it's it's just crazy. Um, so that was our first, our second mythic so far. The Dull Amroth Extended Art. There's also like Elvish language versions of the cards that are pretty pricey. Um, I haven't seen a Balrog card. Um, not yet. The packs are thick. Like the, the they're a little tough to open. Um, it's like very good quality on the on the the packs. Not like some product. But I guess you're, you, you, for the price point on these, they should they should put a little extra effort into them, I guess. Um, that's a rare. Rare. Another rare. Uncommon. We got a Gandalf the Grey. Cool looking card, and, except for it's the, the when he dies, in turn becomes the white. But uh, Gandalf the Grey on the rare. The Balrog, there you go, Balrog. The Balrog Durin's Bane. The Grey Haven's pretty card. Extended art foil. Shadow of Enemy, so I got my first mythic, um, my first mythic extended art. Uh, Shadow of the Enemy. Shadow of the Enemy extended art mythic. So, so far we got three mythics, one, one foil. Man, I, I would not be surprised 
if Watsky did something crazy like that, and that's frustrating. There's also, um, they just announced, I think it's November, they're doing a special edition collector booster of the Lord of the Rings set. So, man, if they hold out like that just to just to kind of just to sell product, that's that's messed up because there's going to be people spending thousands of dollars on this product just to just for the chance. I mean, it's it's like a lot. It's like lottery tickets at this point. You know, until that card's pulled, people are just going to go crazy. Um, let's see, Horn of Mark. There's another uh, extended art. The Watcher in the Water extended art of a um, mythic. So that's our fourth mythic, but still nothing crazy that I know of. Again, there's no way of telling the prices yet. Officially doesn't come out until Friday. So like even TCG player, uh, there's another mythic, a land. But TCG player doesn't um, put the prices up like officially for buying cards until Friday. Um, so this is, I think, I'm pretty sure this is part of that uh, puzzle connecting um, set that they have in here. There's like six cards or eight cards or something like that that make up a, a, a picture. There's Frodo, Sauron's Bane, the Frodo extended art. So let me sleeve up these two mythics. Um, we ended up with two two mythics in that pack. Uh, yeah, I saw them. I saw they were up to like 450 bucks on TCG Player. Um, it's 40 bucks a pack, I believe, and there's 12 packs. So technically, I think it's around 480 is retail because I'm pretty sure it's 40 a pack or 35 a pack. Um, so it's it's definitely a, a higher end thing, which is the case with all uh, of the. Um, all of the collector boosters they do for Magic, this one's no exception. They actually do have a specialty set that comes out every year that's usually like 80 bucks a pack. Uh, at least last year's were like 80 bucks a pack, which is crazy to think somebody's going to pay 80 bucks for a pack, but they sold really well. Um, let's see. All right, there's a rare Aragorn. Um, Aragorn company leader. Another rare, uh, Labelia Sackville Baggins. Don't recall her in the movies. <laughs> the Nazgul. All right, Aragorn on the Mythic. Aragorn the Uniter on the Mythic. We got the foil extended and the regular one back to back. On the Oliphant. Mines of Moria on the rare. And our token in the back all right still got six we're about halfway through the box now six packs to go um even just pulling a ring in general would be cool um because i know they've limited the, the rings i think even the uh the the most basic one is like nine thousand, which doesn't sound low but it is low when it comes to magic um so it's still going to be worth some money uh but so just to pull any of the versions of the ringer would be cool but obviously i want that one of one that everybody wants and if it is in the gift bundle that sucks because i'm just this is a waste then <laughs> uh the, and yeah the gift, gift bundles i think are set for like july 7th i think three weeks out so they're gonna sell the heck out of these um there's the box art card call of the ring uh, not the ring at all that you're looking for, but Gandalf on the Mythic. But they're definitely going to sell the collector boosters out before they get to the gift bundles coming out. Let's see. We got a Mythic Frodo foil on the extended art and the token. So double Mythic bo uh, bo uh, pack there with Frodo and Gandalf in it. What's up, Kevin? I know you're excited. A lot, of, a lot more people here. Everybody wants to see somebody pull the one of one. So there's a lot more people here than I'm used to in the mornings. <laughs> These packs, man, they're giving me a, they're giving me a fit. Um, they're definitely a lot thicker and tighter than uh like the sports I've been opening lately. And 
And honestly, not being a player of Magic, I don't honestly know which cards are like outside of the the you know the mythics and stuff to even be looking for. Uh, there's the Watcher in the Water uh, foil mythic. Um, Bilbo's ring, not the right one. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Mythic Green Dragon in Extended Art. Oops, I skipped one. Uh, Boromir on the Extended... I mean, the yeah. Well, I don't know what they're calling this. Like, Elvish looking. It's It looks more Extended Art, but I don't know if they're just calling this Extended Art or some kind of showcase or something like that. But that's a rare on the Boromir. You don't hope I pull the big one. You want to pull the big one. <laughs> I don't think anybody hopes that anybody pulls the big one except for them. <laughs> There's a lot of Pokemon slabs in here right now. Um, probably close to 200 slabs in, of Pokemon in here right now. So that'd be a lot to lot to grab up. Um, but... If everybody, like I said, if everybody sees me pull that card on camera, just know, um, run down here and start start going shopping for free. Shopping spree. <laughs> All right, Mythic, Andoril, Flame of the West. Still not even a basic ring, um, which like I said, they're, they're, they're definitely limited, so I wish they would put it. There's the Balrog on the Extended Art foil. Let's leave up my Mythic. I'll have some extra packs, man. Just straight for the bandit, yeah. Uh, this is a dangerous one. I mean, it's, it's like the lottery, like I said. I mean, people go crazy on the lottery. Um... Until it's until the lottery has been won, so this is kind of like that. Until that card is pulled, people are gonna um, people are gonna go buy it and go nuts trying to find it. Let's see, that's my first one of those. I think that's a double sided. No, those, a lot of times those are double sided, but let's see, swamp. That's a Frodo Rare, Shalab Rare, Rare, Gollum on the uh, Uncommon, Samwise on the Rare, Rare, Common, Rare, and Token. Two more. Appreciate it, Brian. Got two packs left. Two packs left. The two millions getting further and further away from me. Like I said, this is it for me. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go more than one box. I've got to control myself. So please come by them before I, I open more. <laughs> um, it's hard knowing that that two million's still out there, and um, I got stuff on the shelf. You know. Again, we're not usually doing magic, but I think everyone and their mom is doing it right now. This is a first. If Pokemon ever decided to do a one of one Charizard, like the sky's the limit on that. I couldn't imagine if there was a, ever a one of one Charizard, what it would do. Um, but if Pokemon ever wanted to 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 learn from this, that's how you make. That's how you sell your product there for sure. Um, all right, there's another foil um, mythic, the Witch King, Angmar. Yeah, I really think five million will probably be at least. Like I think I think uh, Post Malone. I think Post Malone will be the one that um, ends up with the card. Uh, he's already got what I've heard is the most valuable Magic collection in the world. Um, so, and he's got money. He got deep pockets. Appreciate that, Brian. I just don't see anybody wanting to beat him. Um, anybody won't able to beat him. 
This pack threw me off for some wait. Yeah, that's the token at the back. Alright. Last pack. Last pack. Let's see if we can get at least a ring, if nothing else. Um that's what you know, that's what you're looking for. Um, even if you don't get the one of one, the, the any ring uh is worth is gonna be worth money. But this is it. We're coming down to the end. A few more cards. And I think we got we got a few more there still. Lash of the Balrog. Bilbo. I think this is my last card. This is the last one. Does not look like it. I did not get two million dollars. <laughs> um Yeah, you'll try, right? For real, right? Um, I do have, I do, I should have at least a couple extra boxes. Um, when when all is said and done, I know the order today is completely is completely uh, claimed. Um, outside of some set boosters, which you can't get the ring and the set boosters. Um, I do have a couple extra set boosters for anybody that's interested in just getting some cards from this set. Um, but yeah, so that's my boxes. My, well, my box. Uh, I, again, I do have some extra collector boosters come Friday when the set officially releases. Uh, my order should ship out today for the rest of my Lord of the Rings. Um, I hope everyone has a good week, uh, start of their week. Appreciate y'all hanging out for a little bit. Um, hoping to see that, but it's still out there. One less box on the market. Take care.